So let's finish it off by setting up some macros. Let's just open it up and we'll map a couple here. I'm thinking the tuning, that'd be a good one to map. So I'm gonna right click here. I'm gonna just remember the start setting because it's gonna default it to the minimum. So 4306 is where I started. And let's just go here to the map mode. Let's start off with 4306. And that means we're back where we were. I don't think we need to go so high here. I think we're gonna probably take it to about 100 or so. Let me just have a listen and test. Maybe about 66.36. So there's a maximum value there. Gives us a more workable range. So also decay, let's map to two. And the setting that I had before, I need to remember that, 444. Let's right click. Let's do that as a minimum. There we go. So that's sorted. I think the maximum is gonna to be too much, to be honest. Let's just bring this down a bit, let's have a think about it. And uh, let's have a listen. I'm gonna take that probably about two seconds. Actually, it might be nicer just to be able to take it a little bit shorter too. So that could certainly make a good control to manipulate in the track using some automation. So tuning, decay, and also I've just noticed, let me take it off the map mode, that the amp, the default setting for the amp is mono. And you know, that's the way a lot of guitar amps are. But we want it stereo, so I'm gonna put it onto dual as well. So I'm gonna make an amendment to my instrument rack save in a minute, so I'll do that. Just think if there's anything else that I wanna set up here. Um, do you know what? I think that's gonna be, that's enough. I think that's it. Although, actually, maybe it'd be quite nice to have a little control to adjust the amount of amp coming through. So you don't always have this. You could just adjust it coming in. And maybe the same with the corpus as well. It could be quite an interesting one. So we're on 16% to start off with. Let's map this to three, map mode. So we go from zero to 16%, that's what we can have. So maximum is where we were at. I think in all honesty, if we have more than that, it's gonna to sound too messy. So we're gonna go from zero to 16%. And also, let's do the same over here, right click. We're gonna to go to macro four. And uh, once again, I've forgotten what I had originally. So you know, it's always good for you guys to see this stuff. It makes you remember stuff better. So take a note of the amount first. So 13.5%. Let's make that our new maximum. So 13.5. You can always jump in here if ever you need to, uh, you feel you need to change this stuff. So we're going from zero to 13.5. There we go. So I'm gonna click on this save. So you push enter and say replace. Yes, I do want to replace that. So we've got a new one. We can take away the map mode, take away the chains, and we've got ourselves the settings here. And we can have a lot of fun with those in the actual arrangement. At Point Blank Online, you've got two methods of interaction with your tutor. Firstly, you've got the weekly online masterclass, which is in real time. And then also we've got feedback on your assignments, and that's known as DVR. So the online masterclass is a one hour session you get with your tutor every week. You can ask questions about lesson content and get instant feedback and also demonstrations on the fly from their computer desktop with our streaming technology. DVR stands for Direct Video Response, and the concept is really simple. You upload your Ableton Logic or Cubase project file to your tutor, he downloads it, and then pushes record on the screen capturing software, and it evaluates your work, so basically giving you one-to-one -one feedback. You see all of the mouse movements and any parameter changes made by your tutor. It's kind of like sitting in the studio over their shoulder watching what they're doing whilst they work. We have found the DVR process has truly revolutionized the way that we teach it online, and the results speak for themselves. 
Book your place on the course now by visiting pointblankonline.net.